And there are five tests that must be satisfied before we will consider it safe to adjust any of the current measures. First, we must protect the NHS's ability to cope. We must be confident that we are able to provide sufficient critical care and specialist treatment right across the UK. Second, we need to see a sustained and consistent fall in the daily death rate from coronavirus so we can be confident that we have moved beyond the peak. Third, we need to have reliable data from SAGE showing that the rate of infection is decreasing to manageable levels across the board. Fourth, we need to be confident that the range of operational challenges, including testing capacity and PPP, PPE, are in hand with supply able to meet future demand. Fifth, and most importantly, we need to be confident that any adjustments to the current measures will not risk a second peak of infections that overwhelm the NHS. The worst thing we could do now is ease up too soon and allow a second peak of the virus to hit the NHS and hit the British people. So I want to thank each and every person across the UK who is following and supporting the government's advice to stay at home in order that we protect our NHS and ultimately save lives. I know we are asking you to make sacrifices, and it is challenging, but we need to keep going. Working together, we will defeat this invisible enemy. But now is not the time One of the ways that we can defeat this virus is to find a vaccine. Just as Edward Jenner developed the smallpox vaccine in the 18th century, we need to apply the best of British scientific endeavour to the search for the coronavirus vaccine. To that end, I can announce today that the government has set up a vaccines task force to coordinate the efforts of government, academia and industry towards a single goal to accelerate the development of a coronavirus vaccine. This task force is up and running and aims to ensure that a vaccine is made available to the public as quickly as possible. The task force reporting to me and the health secretary is led by Sir Patrick and Professor Jonathan Van Tam. It comprises representatives from government, industry, academia and regulators. Members include Government Life Sciences Champion Sir John Bell, as well as AstraZeneca and the Wellcome Trust. The task force will support progress across all stages of vaccine development and at pace. It will back Britain's most promising research, positioning the UK as a leader in clinical vaccine testing and manufacturing. The task force will coordinate with regulators to facilitate trials which are both rapid and well supervised. And it will work with industry in the UK and internationally, so we're in a position to manufacture vaccines at scale. This will build on the Prime Minister's announcement last month of a further £210 million for CEPI, the international fund, to find a vaccine.